I want to talk about the debate. We have our fir- the the first presidential debate in uh, in August. I believe it was going going to be done by Fox News. Uh, unfortunately, Tucker Carlson won't be asking y'all the questions. I wish he was, but he's not there no more. Uh, but we we have a we had a lot of we had a lot of news break about that Donald Trump. Uh, saying that the RNC did not get his approval for this debate, and uh, I, I made a whole TikTok video on it. I made a, I have a whole segment on it from the last episode about this. Um, but that debate, we, you know, I, I made a statement in that that uh, in that segment where I said, well, if Donald Trump don't go. Let's listen from the other candidates because I do get a lot of flack and a lot of uh, rebuttal from conservatives and Republicans that love Trump and they say, oh, well, you're coming against Trump. No, I'm just speaking obvious facts. I think True. Donald Trump should be up there with every Republican candidate, especially if there's only five or six of y'all. They should let y'all up there. But, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we know it looks by the money. You talked about the money. You're, you're right behind Nikki Haley um, in percentage wise. You're up there. Do you see yourself up there in August? And, you know, how do you how do you approach a debate like that on a scale where you you possibly going to be in be debating Donald Trump? You're sure. going to be debating we, we Nikki Haley. Yeah, we'll be in we're, we're in fourth place currently in the money. Uh, so we absolutely uh, will be on the debate stage and up there. Uh, I sure hope Trump is there. I told I said on Twitter, I said, uh, you know. I addressed him and said that uh, uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. I, obviously, uh, no one needs your permission uh, to, to schedule the debate or where it's going to be or who's going to ask the questions. Uh, this isn't a coronation. Uh, that you know, this is this is a, a primary, and uh, America is and, and primaries are are built in order for the best ideas to rise. And quite frankly, having some depth and substance as opposed to just just I'm winning so. Just let's just just let me be the candidate and let me go uh, attack the other side. Uh, That's not new ideas. That's not how do I improve America? That's I'm bitter and I want to get revenge. Uh, So I told I said uh, on Twitter, I said, uh, hey, you don't have to be there if you don't want. We hope you do. Uh, But that's not very American. Uh, And unless you're going to start identifying as a six year old girl, stop whining, man up, show (laughs) up and uh, let whoever is, uh, you know, asking the questions. I said, I'll debate you in a parking lot. But you're going to sit there and whine about the venue and the questions uh, that that that's a bit uh, insane to me. I actually would love to go back to, you know, some of the debates in the in the uh, early 1900s when it was three, four hours were the minimum uh, debates. Uh, and they really got into it because it wasn't just sound bites. They really debated. And you're talking about uh, statesmen. We haven't had statesmen really run for president of the United States. We've had politicians run. You haven't had a lot of statesmen. And so that's what I think is going to be great about this debate. I do think there are some people that love America uh, that will be on that stage that are competent. Uh, But I also believe that we are in a unique time. I believe that it doesn't matter how much, just how matter uh, much how you love America. It's going to matter what kind of leadership abilities you have. And quite frankly, Donald Trump is everything I was raised not to be. Don't be a bully. You, you respect women. Um, you don't have a potty mouth. Uh, you 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 you, we, uh, you should be humble and walk humbly and don't be an arrogant jerk. And you know, so there was inherent things there. I think he was. Right for the right for the position in 2016. I'm grateful for many of the policies and things he did at that time. Uh, but I also think that uh, you know, and with Asa Hutchinson running and some of these others, I mean, he would have been a great president in the 80s or 90s. These people, the fact that they're even on the debate stage shows how out of touch they are with America. If they're when you're 78, 79, 80 years old, uh, you don't need to be running the country. You're not even going to have to live with your own policies. Uh, that that's a problem to me. And, and this is the first generation where uh, you got Gen Z coming in voting. You've had the uh, many of the most senior conservatives. Uh, we lost a lot during COVID and people do not understand the makeup of this coming election. Uh, it is up for everyone. And what the Republicans think and what the Democrats think, there's going to be a, a massive shock coming. 